Hey, it's Dan Beck. I'm here with Tanner from Sand Creek Brewing and uh, departing a little bit from our theme, Tanner's got a slightly different story to tell us about his brewing company. Sure, I'm, my name's Tanner. I'm the head brewer at Sand Creek. Uh, I work the overnight shift from five o'clock at night till five in the morning. Um, I gotta stop you there. You're the head brewer, but you work the night shift. I do, that is correct. Yeah, the brewmaster handles business during the day and I kind of take care of things by myself at the brewery at night when no one's around. Okay, so just a side note for all of you, if you're looking to become a head brewer, master brewer, uh, talk to Tanner about why you might not want to. And another reason is Charlie. Yeah, so I work in a 25,000 square foot building by myself for 12 hours at a time. The brewery that I work in was built in 1860 and it is haunted as one of the original brewers fell into the mash tun, pulled himself out, and died of the scalding heat the next day. His name is Charlie, and he tends to haunt me or hang out with me when I'm working every night. I did different paranormal activity. Uh, as of recently, I was sleeping there, working a double shift, uh, and I'm sleeping in the tap room, and I have this, I I'm sitting there awake, but paralyzed and can't move, when I get this dark, shadowy figure come over the right side of my body and paralyze me, I get nothing but chills and bad vibes, bad energy coming from the whole experience. And I lay there and I can't move. All I see is this very Harry Potter-like dark figure over my body. And, and it wasn't Alan Rickman. And it was not. It was not. Um, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting booze from the audience over here. So I, I lay there, I lay there not moving, absolutely freaking out, chills all over my body. Ten seconds go past, and I see, and, and it finally, I, I wake up or can move from this whole experience, and I'm seeing the entire brewery from my perspective or point of view, and I decide three o'clock in the morning, I'm not sleeping anymore, I'm just going to get up and start my day, so I fired up the brew system about 3.30 in the morning and brewed well into the afternoon. So Charlie's the alarm clock? More or less. It does happen to be like that sometimes. He keeps me awake. Too scared to fall asleep. What was Charlie's last name? Uh, older Blitz. Okay, okay, German I assume. Yep. So yeah, so he's telling you to get to work because you're sloughing off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 3 a.m., perfect time to fire it all up and get her going for the day. Okay, we've had stories about bad customers, bad brews, now we got a bad ghost. Thanks very much, Danner. Yeah, no problem.